Well, here we go again. And uh, I hate to keep using the same uh, phrase, but <laughs> the lovers is gonna love and the haters is gonna hate. And I said that in the last video. And uh, I love this one also. I was sent this guitar uh, by the people I bought my Les Paul from uh, because they really liked the last video. And so they sent me this guitar. They didn't tell me what they were gonna send me, it just came. And so I was pleasantly surprised. This is a, not a Chibson, this is a Chinder. It's a Chinese Fender, as you can see, it says Fender up there on the headstock. And uh, Corona, California there, got the Fender the keys on it there and stuff like that. Uh, you can say what you want. Uh, I got to tell you, I'm a Fender player, okay? Y'all know that from my videos. I am a Telecaster guy. And they picked the right guitar to send me. This thing is phenomenal. Unbelievable. Okay, just a so, little bit of the specs on it there. Uh, uh, this is a John 5, okay? Yeah, y'all know who John 5 is. If you don't know who it is, just look up John 5 Fender Telecaster, and you'll be able to see. I believe this guitar, the Fender version of it, the one that people who actually did it, uh, sells for $3,500. Oh, it sold for $3,500. They only made 600 of these guitars. Uh, this guitar came from Strum Zone, and I will have the link uh, down in the description, okay? So uh, you can buy this guitar from them, Strum Zone. And if I'm not mistaken, seriously, uh, the price is uh, not uh, uh, 3,500, it's not 5,000, it's not nowhere near that. It's $255. It has all the same stuff that the other guitar does. Whether these are real DiMarzio, I don't know. All I know is that they are not just toss-in uh, humbuckers. They are cloth uh, uh, bobbins, okay? So they got cloth on the bobbins. Uh, the pole pieces are, got the Allen head uh, adjustable pole pieces in it. Uh, <clears throat> it's got the, the nice saddles. Uh, a really super nice volume uh, knob on there. Uh, they're not using a 500, uh, five, I can tell you right now they're using the 500 pot on it. It's probably a, a 250, but it feels super smooth. This little button here, if you notice, it don't have a pickup selector thing down in here like a normal Telecaster does. They put the pickup selector up here because that's what a John 5 designed. This is a, basically an exact copy of what the Fender John 5 guitar is. Uh, it has real binding, it's not paint, real binding all the way around the outside. Red dots inside the neck up there, okay, for the markers. Uh, the neck, I know uh, for a fact, because I looked at the, uh, the specs on this guitar, and uh, it is a uh, maple neck, and the body is, is mahogany, okay? But it, it does have a maple neck, uh, it has a nine and a half inch radius, which is, man, it, if it's a nine and a half inch radius, it really feels great. I mean, as far as being able to land on the strings and not press multiple strings at one time on, uh, that's one thing about, because I've had so many Telecasters and the ones that I put together myself, uh, the necks is kind of like a crapshoot almost, even though you might get two nine and a half inch uh, radius necks, uh, you might play one and you go, this one here plays great. And then the next one you pull it out of the case and it's got the exact same neck supposedly, and they don't play anywhere near the same. Uh, I know that they're supposedly the same radius, but I don't know why they do, but that's why I have more than one guitar anyhow, because they all play differently. They all have a distinct sound. Okay, this volume pot, but back here, this little button here is what they call a stutter switch, and it's a momentary switch. You just tap it. It's built like a tank, 
And so as you're playing the song, if you watch uh, John 5 videos, he'll go like, like a, say the rhythm with da 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 You do the same thing on the switch. You go da 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 So when you're holding a note or a chord, the chord goes da 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 Now, I'm going to play this guitar, and a good friend of mine, uh, and uh, we go way back, uh, Jimmy Wallace is just a, a player extraordinaire. Uh, he's a jazz player, a rock player, a country player. Uh, he has a different style than me, and so we're both going to play this guitar a little bit for you and let you uh, hear what the the Chinder John Five guitar sounds like. Again, this guitar is from Strum Zone. The link will be down below uh, in the description. And you can get this guitar uh, free shipping for $255, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, <laughs> that does beat uh, the original price of the Real McCoy, uh, one of the 600 that when they did sell them, uh, I think, like I said, it was uh, $3,400. But these are going uh, now for, gosh, I don't know, five, six, seven thousand bucks, if you can find one. The weight, is fantastic. Uh, the switch is really good. Uh, all I did is I took it, when I unpacked a, a, a box there, I went upstairs, got a Diet Coke, put my bibs on, uh, tuned it up, and stretched the strings a little bit. I haven't adjusted anything, but I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing by looking at the saddles, the way that they are, they're not just all level or whatever. Looks to me like they may have set this up before they sent it to me. They, you know, I haven't heard that they did, but uh, it's just, it's just plays like a dream boat. Uh, I would gig with this or record with it uh, any place, any time. Just fantastic. So the next uh, part of this video is going to be uh, me and Mr. Jimmy Wallace talking about this guitar and playing it so you can hear it. So here we go. <laughs> 